No, no. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, can we just can we just take a break? Later. All right. So you get to Bedeker's place. Then what? I uh, get to his door, and I can hear music inside, like squeaky voices. And I thought, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'd, I knocked on his door, the music stopped, and then he was right there. When he saw the gun, um, he thought, I don't know what he thought, you know, he, he was just so scared. And he started talking. Um, I think he offered me money. He kept saying that, you know, you don't have to do this. <laughs> His eyes were so big, you know, and then, uh, and then I did it. I did it. Uh, this happened real fast, you know, I didn't want to look, but there was just blood everywhere. It was all over his books, all over his, uh, uh, I got down to the car and, uh, I couldn't drive, I couldn't even move. Next thing I know, uh, that deuce Victor is tapping on the window. And so that asshole takes me down to the lab, of course, and, uh, me, Mike, Victor, and Mr. White sit down there waiting for Gus to show up. And, uh, I just can't, just once. <laughs> oh, I saw this guy, Kubis up front laying a bunch of bull crap on the engineer, but you know, it's only gonna work for so long. Uh, we're working as fast as we can, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna take some time. And that pump is sounding real loud. You know, after we're done, Mike tells me that we should have been done, you know, five minutes earlier, but Mr. White, greedy, he, he, he needed his thousand gallons, like exactly. So once word comes down that we are done, um, I start hearing this clinking and, and clanking. You know, I'm still pulling hose from the, from the pump and, uh, and the train starts, starts moving. So I lay as flat as I can until the train passes me. So we are high-fiving because it worked. Um, then, you know, we turn around and there is this kid on a dirt bike looking at us you know he doesn't know who we are or what we're doing but he just happens to be there by random chance drew sharp that uh that kid that went missing up in whitehorse it's him and then out of nowhere todd at that Opie, dead-eyed piece of shit, pulls out a gun and shoots the kid. So this is Todd Elkis we're talking about? He killed Drew Sharp? Boom. Like it was nothing. You're gonna get him, right? You better believe it. What'd you do with the body? <sighs> what do you think? Same thing like the rest of them. We took him back to uh, the Roach place. They threw him in a barrel like he was garbage and then poured acid all over him. You know, he was just a kid. He was just starting out his life and he is dead because we wanted some methylamine. 